Well, uh, let's get started then. Um, so we're here today with Babe Club. So lucky to have you guys on today. Um, I think, are these all the members of the band in present or? Um, we're missing Julia, so drummer. Okay, sweet. Well, um, if you want, uh, you guys can go ahead and introduce yourselves, like say who you are, what you do in the band. I think that'd be a good way to start. So whenever y'all are ready. All right, I'm Jenna. I'm, I'm a singer and I play a few, I play guitar and piano and I um, write the songs, write some songs. And I'm Corey. I play guitar and piano and uh, do a lot of the producing. I'm Meg. Uh, I play the parts on keys. <laughs> Uh, sing a little bit and just kind of collaborate. Meg yeah. does a lot of our helps a lot with our visuals and our videos yeah. and like a lot of our art direction. So that's really fun. So I guess like the first question I'll ask you guys, um, kind of more ba more basic question, but why did you guys decide to form Babe Club? Like, what are you guys all about? What was the the vision with starting Babe Club? Well, me and Corey started Babe Club when we were touring in a band called Susto. Another and, South Carolina band. Mm -hmm. And we were just kind of like wanting to write our own music. And also we kind of started Babe Club because we we're like, we don't know who our band is right now, but one day we'll know who they are and they'll be cool. Maybe yeah, they'll want to be attractive Babe to the Club. Band, yeah. <laughs> so we just thought it was like a cool vibe. And yeah, I had always wanted to sing and Corey um, wanted to like do just have a heavier hand in like music in production. production. So we like yeah. kind of started our own project together. How did the name Babe Club come about? I know you said you thought it was cool, but what kind of drew you to it? Well, Jenna always said she saw it on a t-shirt and she was like, like, man, that'd be a cool, like t-shirt, cool t-shirt for us to use. It's like our band t-shirt. So, and then we thought about it. It's kind of like, you know, cause anybody can be a babe. It's kind of androgynous. And as like a name you would call like, just anybody anybody can be like wow he she they are total babe you know so it's like and also me and Corey, we it's so hard to pick a band name so we wrote like one day we're like okay we're choosing it because we had booked a show but we didn't have a band name and then we wrote down names on a list um and then we just picked out the, the one that we hated the hated least, least. <laughs> 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 and there we are Okay, that's really cool. Um, and Corey, did you know how to like produce a lot before you started the band, or is that something that you like learned when you started Babe Club? Yeah, it's kind of like this thing you 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 know get in the airplane and start flying it, but you learn how to fly it as you fly it. You know, so it's like I feel like I started to do a little bit of producing and recording, and, like as we were in the other band, and you know I was picking up tricks from being in the studio with Susto, but then. Um, there was one point where I just kind of decided, okay, I'm going to buy this piece of gear and then we're going to record ourselves and just try it out, you know, and then, you know, a few years later, you know, you're always better, but there's always more to learn and always more to grow into, you know. Kind of on that track, what is your songwriting process? Is that something you do together or kind of more so you as a producer? Um, Jenna actually kind of starts and finishes most of the songs and then she brings in like we produce her. like some yeah. songs together um but yeah Corey, yeah so I'll, my songwriting process is like i i guess i'll just like write down things in my phone that i think are cool and then when i feel like a, an emotion about something i'll just like open my phone up pull out my like the thing like the words I wrote down like maybe it's like three lines or something and then I'll just put a voice memo on and try and like sing and play something and like just until I get somewhere and then if it's cool I'll try and finish it and then yeah we then I show it to Corey mm -hmm. and we kind of like we hash it out together sometimes yeah, it, 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 it comes along in various stages like sometimes Jenna will like make a demo that's like basically what the final recording is going to be like you know so it's like sometimes she will produce the song and then I just come in and like you know just put it into logic and, and just kind of expand it a little bit but it's already done and then sometimes like she'll come in with like a chorus and then we'll finish the song together you know it's like it's all it's different for every song which is yeah. kind of an adventure and then we started playing with Meg like two years ago so we we like have been and Meg just moved to Atlanta. 
Um, you live in Charleston, by the way, but we have been like um, we we've written a we've written a few songs together, and um, we'll probably do some more. But so I don't know. Like every song is really different, and there's not one single way. Yeah. Um, well, kind of going off of that, um, I know y'all's newest release is that Back to Yesterday? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. that's a, definitely the song. Um, well, I guess uh, I would love if you guys could like break down that song if you guys wanted to, like starting like from, you know, start to finish, like how you guys wrote the song, like what were the inspirations behind it, like how that all came together. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, that song, honestly, it was during the pandemic I wrote it. I felt it was, it's like a pandemic song. Um, I felt like kind of sad at the moment because like, I remember I got off the phone with my mom and she like, told, cause my dad basically like kind of lost his job during the pandemic um, in New York because like nothing was open. So I felt like really sad and I wish that it wasn't like that, obviously. <laughs> so, and I, you know, I just was like, damn, this sucks. Yeah. But I, I, so I, essentially Jenna had like, you know, over the course of a week or, of, or so. I might have like, even written it just in like a day. In a day, yeah. She yeah. was, and she would sing it all the time though. And so I was working at a coffee shop at the time and I like would come home and Jenna would be singing the song and like, you have to record the yeah, song. Yeah, and I was unemployed at the time too. Yeah. And so, um, then we kind of. We made a demo of it, and then a few weeks later, we made a final recording of it, and you know, we recorded it at home and did it ourselves. And um, yeah, we recorded it, was, it live, pretty much. Yeah, live. Yeah. We, yeah, and then just did some overdubs. Yeah, and some fun things. Was a, yeah, played keys, and that's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah, it was a pretty. That was a pretty simple song. Like that was pro- it's probably one of our most straightforward songs that we have. Yeah, a lot of the t- a lot of times the songs are, are more of a painful process where it takes like months and weeks and sometimes years to finish them, you know. But that song was kind of like boom, we like set out to do it and finished it. Which was good. You also recently released the Need a Girl remix, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How do you guys come up for the visuals behind those music videos? Because they're so cool. been a journey well meg um she was you you had the idea for like copying or just re- modeling that video after like classical like renaissance paintings kind of and we found that artist the girl the, yeah so the meg had the idea to kind of like emulate classical form of like bodies but like emphasizing that in a new way by using more suits to like you know kind of de-emphasize any like specific feature of a person but just mm-hmm. kind of be this form in the frame and we and were then, really on the color red the yeah time. and so taking that we kind of like in the spirit of need a girl found a woman renaissance painter um who is one of the only like women painters who was like really notable in the art world at the time and kind of like used her as an inspiration for the framing of it and so like that that video in particular was like just kind of like a unique experience basing like your modern video frame for your you know grungy rock song on like this classical form you know it, but doing it with like these morph suits that look kind of weird you know it's like it's it was super fun mm-hmm. kind of a little bit in the same realm a lot of people talk about having like kind of like a persona associated with like their band or like who you know whoever they are like do you guys like have like a certain image you want people to take away from Babe Club or anything that like something like that, like a persona or anything? Hmm. I feel like, and Jenna might feel differently, so maybe this will be a fun answer. I, I feel like uh, <laughs> we have simultaneously, like our music is can be really dark, you know, and really moody and emotional, but I feel like in terms of like the images or imagery we like to use or like how we promote our shows is like we we also like to be kind of funny because jenna is a very very funny person like she is always just like she she just has like a very intriguing perspective on things and will say things in a way it's like i totally understand what you're saying but i never would have thought to say it like that you know so a lot of that element comes across in our personality on stage and on like in our like presence online but i feel like the the music can be like dark but it's also fun you know but it's like it's like that 
contrast. You know? Yeah. Yeah, and at this point, I feel like we released that EP, and um, we kind of, I guess I really am, in, I definitely get inspired by other artists who, like, put together, like, an image and, like, kind of, like, put themselves out there in a way and, like, have everybody else kind of make sense of it. Because, like, I feel like I like themes that, like, run through, like, visuals of, different artists like i really like saint vincent so like like really conceptual yeah and i just like that because it let because i feel like i do write really literal lines sometimes in my songwriting so i I like that sometimes or the videos that we've done so far are like a little bit more ambiguous um and so i just like people can get their own sense of what of direction um, yeah what what yeah what they feel about what we're doing in the image so Nice. Um, this question's a little bit totally not what we were just talking about, but your latest EP was recorded with Dan Gleason. So how did like that come about? Because that's like a huge deal recording with someone from Group Love. Yeah, it's it's kind of funny. We played um, at the Georgia Theater in Athens. Uh, like they have these rooftop shows, and the night we were playing was after uh, the Head and the Heart played, and. I guess Dan was friends with them and he had just gotten off a plane in Atlanta at the same time they did and they invited him to the show randomly. And so he was like, yeah, okay, I'll come. And then they're like, oh, we're going to go see our friends Babe Club play on the rooftop. And so he was like, okay, I'll join you. So he walked out there and saw us play and really liked some of our songs and then invited us to a studio. Yeah. So it was pretty, pretty cool process. And they, of, we were the first band to record in, the, in his studio um, Big in Trouble. Atlanta. So yeah. that was kind of cool. Yeah, it was very cool. Yeah, the song Automatic Love was the first song that I guess was recorded there. So it feels pretty cool. Yeah. It's definitely a small world vibe. Yeah. Story. Is there anyone like in the future that you would love to just work with or collaborate with on songs? Oh, man, a lot. I feel like there's yeah. a... I could That's major the in out. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> I mean... I really like uh, the guy from Vampire Weekend, Rostam. Yeah. Would love to. And Ariel. Ariel Reichstead. He's yeah. really cool. They do a really cool production because they just did that Heim, that new Heim record. Um, Who else have we been listening to? I mean, mm. yeah. We really like this artist, Samia. She's really cool. She has really cool songs. So cool. Yeah. Mm. I really like Mark Ronson. I knew you were yeah. like, like, <laughs> that, That's like the yeah. Like we a, got you know, we were really on. We were listening his to latest his album, music. Late Night Feeling. So good. So good. That's um, the production is incredible. So mm-hmm. it's kind of like to be able to be in the same room with someone like that and just kind of like learn, pick their brain, and see what they do in a creative scenario would be really, really cool. cool. <laughs> yeah. And then kind of on the same lane, um, your show on Thursday is at like the local spot, New Brooklyn Tavern. Um, and in times like this with COVID and everything, it's super important to support like local businesses and artists. So are there any like local artists that you guys really like look up to or like love to listen to? Yeah, you know, coming up, I guess playing with Susta, we played a, a lot of shows with Dear Blanca and um, at the time E.T. Anderson and who else? There's, I mean, there's just so many like yeah. South Carolina bands that have just like come through. Yeah, I'm really, I mean, I'm really looking forward to like all mids, the trio, their trio. Yeah, like Kayla Freilich, I love yeah. her Kayla's solo cool. album. So like, they're yeah. so good. I know. Yeah. And, and and then obviously there's Stagbrier from Columbia, and there's. Uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, I feel like the South Carolina music scene is just all like Ch- Charleston and Columbia are also intertwined, you know, so it's it's always it's fun playing with all these people like in circles. And sometimes it's like a new band, like what the, the Dear Blanca guys have that band Mids, too. Have you heard of that? It's it's a really, really fun, like project that they like side project they have going too. Yeah, and like Brett Nash, who's played with everybody in the Brett world. Nash. He's played with us sometimes too. So yeah. I guess Brett Nash counts as like a an artist. Like <laughs> I don't know if you guys know him, but you've probably seen him play with a lot of other bands. Yeah, are you familiar with Secret Guest? 
I've heard. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen them live. Uh, yeah, that's Brett. That's Brett's band, but he but he he plays with everybody like bass, drums, guitar, mm-hmm. keys, anything. He's a he's a crazy man. The girls block. He plays. Yeah, girls block. Post Malone. Yeah. Oh, Matt, which one? Oh, which one? I can't see it. But and they call. Oh, this one. The, the girls, girls block, block poster. Girls yeah. block poster. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That was like before the pandemic hit. That was our last proper show, actually. And There's it's kinda, a lot of good bands at that. Yeah, there were. It was so sick. And it's kind of yeah. cool to come for full circle because I think that was the last show all the mids played, but that was their first show. So it's kind of cool to like our first show out of town, getting back in the world is with them too, you know? Yeah. I'm excited to get back to Columbia. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Well, yeah. I mean, stay in tune. Like, we're going to have maybe another remix coming out. Uh, later this year and yeah. some more singles so new music from us we're also going to be trying to come with everything open up opening up like and be in the upstate and regionally more and just play more shows and get out there and connect mm-hmm. with people you know so uh, expect expect more from babe club yeah so follow, follow us on instagram just join babe club on every social media platform yeah yep. okay well awesome well thank you guys so much for uh, like taking the time to sit down with us um you know we're really excited for your show coming up tomorrow so uh yeah, yeah.